With the release of Houdini 19, I expect Solaris and USD to become a lot more prevalent, and I figured I would go over how we can get Redshift working inside of Solaris. So to start off here, the first thing that you will need is the most up-to-date Redshift version, which is going to be not an actual uh, build right now, it's just going to be the version right in here. So you come into the Redshift forums, you click on new versions here, and then this 3.059, which is not an official release, but it is a build that will work inside of Houdini 19. So download that, install it, and then you do need to do one other thing, which is go to your ENV file, or you can use the new JSON stuff that's a little bit more JSON, whatever you, however you want to pronounce it. It's uh, a little bit more easy to um, keep things up to date, I guess, but I'm just going to cover the Houdini version uh, or the ENV version right now. So the quick way to get that is to go to your doc documents, Houdini 19, and then open up this ENV file. And then just like the last video or the last versions, these first three lines are going to be just to install it for install Redshift for the actual uh, regular version of Houdini without the Solaris context. And then this last line is the Solaris and USD context is a Pixar, USD is a Pixar thing. So you need to add in this line right here. So go to your, uh, your whatever version you have. This is the version that we have working for Houdini. So you wanna have this Houdini version implemented it right there. So once you have all that, you can just load up inside of Houdini in Solaris and you'll know that it's working once you have this Redshift right there. So normally you're gonna pop into Houdini GL, you have your normal Karma render, and then you can pop over to the Redshift whenever you want. And this makes it super awesome for creating uh, materials and stuff that work with both the Karma uh, render as well as Redshift and whatever render other renders you want, you can make a single singular material. You see that I have a singular material right here, and it's working for both Karma and Redshift. So no, no matter what render in, render engine I'm using, it's actually going to switch to use the correct material for that render engine. So I'm going to be going over that in a future video as well as how to set that up for your asset gallery because you can actually do that as well. So expect that here in the next video. Just wanted to quickly push this out just to give you a little precursor to that because you will need to have the Redshift version installed for Solaris. So make sure that you have this last line here pointing to your Houdini build so that Redshift will actually work inside of uh, Solaris because if you don't then this will not actually load in Solaris so make sure you have that line in there but anyways I do have a bunch of other videos on my channel about Houdini uh, some other stuff about Houdini 19 so if you missed that make sure you check that out going over Material X and the new Karma and Karma XPU renders uh, it goes a lot more in depth into those so Take a look at that if you're interested. Otherwise, I do have some other videos on my channel about Redshift, Octane, um, some stuff on Cinema 4D, and Clarice as well if you're interested in any of that. So check those out if you want. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.